it's out, dude. But for now, I, I've crafted the Colgo script and everything. Um, so, oh, and by the way, let me show you right here. I can put the Goha level blur. I can show you probably uh, here, Kaizen Scaling. So Jeff replied. I was following up with him and he was like, Hey Seth, hope your day is going great as well. Yes, sir, 2 p.m. I'll be ready to go. So that's in one hour and 20 minutes, roughly. So yeah, oh, my screen isn't there. My camera, doesn't matter. Okay, now here it is. And yeah, so I guess at 2.30, sorry, at 4 p.m. my time, I'll have that call with Jeff. Then as that finishes, like I gotta finish up the onboarding and everything today. So it's good, so I, I get like to take a look and see how I'm gonna set up these ads and, and what I'm gonna do exactly for Jeff. So it's good that I have some time in between. And then tomorrow I actually start the challenge and I start cold calling like crazy. But uh, so far I've created some cold call scripts. So let me see, I have this one here. I actually didn't put the title, cold call script. I'm gonna put as a title. And yeah, uh, basically it's gonna be like, hey man, what's up man, do you guys do remodeling? Yeah, cool, I mean, it's just uh, Seth, I'm gonna be honest, we've never spoken before, so can I quickly explain why I'm calling? Sure, for sure, we work with remodelers here in the, your state uh, to kinda get them this many, like, you know, qualified appointments in the next few days, and you only pay us after you get an inspection. Would you mind if I just briefly explain how we do that in about 20 seconds? And they're gonna be like, no, I don't mind. Or maybe they're gonna be like, yeah, I mind. And I hung up. <laughs> Hopefully they don't. And then I can just be like, yeah, so as you're aware, you know, a lot of lead companies, like, you know, perhaps Angie's or, or Home Advisor, just like give you names, emails, phone number. But a lot of times that's just really bullshit leads that are never going to answer. So how we avoid that is that we actually have our team follow up and call up the leads for you. So you don't even have to waste time following up leads that are shit. And we instead just handle that for you. something like that. Uh, otherwise, I have different scripts leveraging the database reactivation. So it's like how we avoid that is we actually buy a database of all the homeowners in your state. So instead of getting bullshit leads that don't even own a home, ensure you are getting straight to the qualified homeowners. And then also to optimize for cost per acquisition, that's another one, so it's like I could tell them, yeah, so uh, a lot of times they, that's just bullshit leads that are never going to answer, and that's simply because they optimize for the cheapest leads. And so what we do differently is that we actually track the leads that end up showing up to the appointment and buying from you. So we know from which ads they came from and then we can double down on the source that's already working and getting you more business. Bam, bro. I think that one is gonna crush it. But yeah, it's just a matter of them. Like, I need to actually get them, you know, like, hey, what's up, man? Do you guys do remodeling? That's gonna be yes, 100% of the time. Uh, cool, yeah, I mean, it's just Seth. I'm gonna be honest, we've never spoken before. Can I quickly explain why I'm calling? Then perhaps I would say 10% might hang up there. Then I'm gonna be like, for sure, we work with remodelers in here, blah, 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 blah. I would say perhaps like half of them will hang up there. But then the ones that actually let me explain, I think are going to be interested, probably, in one of those. Or perhaps they are just like, I'm too busy. It's like, oh, you guys are like too busy at the moment? Uh, so they're gonna be like, oh, we're booked out for the next three months. Oh, you guys are like too, too busy at the moment? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, I mean, that's that's always a, a good problem to have. Um, are you like mostly a, a one-man band or, or do you have some kind of team? And then they're going to reply. And it's like, hmm, that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah, my, 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 I've seen companies that kind of roll like that as well. I might, I might throw out like my dad kind of rolls like that as well. Because my dad, I mean, he doesn't have a company, right? But he does some carpentry or like some home improvement by himself. Um, which is not the highest quality, by the way. I really suffer that sometimes, that my dad wants to do like all his little inventions and fixes. But I know that it's kind of something that he loves to do, so I guess it's good to see him do it. And yeah, I would probably be like, hmm, that's cool. Yeah, my, my dad kind of rolls like that as well. And, and I mean, just, just out of curiosity, like before I go, 
have you considered perhaps automating some of the reminders or you know like the follow-up to to kind of know how to waste those hours each day and yeah then i would go on from there right it's like have you considered automating those appointments and reminders so so you don't have to waste those hours each day it's like mm, i haven't really considered it and honestly i think it, that's gonna trigger them they're probably gonna be like mm, no i'm just uh, sorry bye so i don't i don't really think that script is going to work you know but i could check i could try um but yeah so as of right now that's the script and then to book the meeting i'm gonna be like cool yeah so i mean i uh, are you free like for 10 minutes this evening so i can just give you a ring so i'm just gonna be like uh booking an intro call from the cold call then to an intro call i'm not gonna try and book cold call then zoom because then the show rate is gonna be trash so if i actually just book another intro call the show rate is gonna be awesome right so that's kind of what i have right here i've also written down a few more things like if objections uh if a lot of objections okay i'm just gonna put lots of objections equal lower show up you're probably going to see this script tomorrow uh so i don't care too much about sharing screen right now as i do the call calls tomorrow or in fact i might even do some call calls today so i'll see um but yeah and also some mindset stuff so it's like they are an npc the more knows, the closer to IGES, which is a total, you know, bias. Like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> but whatever. Like, it's just things that help you keep going with the call calls. So it's like, they are an NPC. The more knows, the closer you are to IGES. I also will probably be solving a Rubik's Cube. Because I was thinking, how can I make call calls not be boring? So I might be just solving a Rubik's Cube just to have some fun. Not even tracking the time or anything. Like, just solving it for pure fun, dude. I'm actually really bad at doing it, by the way. I, it takes me like a minute to solve it. Uh, sometimes under a minute. My all time record is like 37 seconds. Sup? So I just got, technically speaking, the second payment in the series. So if I can show you right here, it's gonna say USD 70 bucks to pay out right now, but 96 to pay out soon. And that's because somebody paid me 100 bucks. And I say technically the second payment, but I don't know, it's not the second client or it's not anything like that big because it's just, a past client of mine so it's houston um and basically that's the client that disputed before and i'm just charging him 100 bucks a month for basically a crm maintenance services from this point on so he and by the way i won the dispute with him so i had like minus 600 bucks before so for example now if you see uh like somebody paid me 100 bucks but i only got 70 last time because I had a lot of uh, like some fees to cover from the dispute that was initiated before, um, like 20 or 30 bucks of fees. So yeah, it's because of that. But I won the dispute. I had like minus 600 bucks on the available to pay out soon. Luckily Stripe never charged me for it because otherwise it would have been a disaster because I literally did not have that money at the time. So, but yeah, we ended up agreeing. I was going to give him half a refund uh, for that month and so it was going to be just 300 so i technically had to pay him 300 whenever the dispute got resolved but it took like two months to actually get resolved uh or like a month and a half so i never really paid him that and even before that he was still using the crm so i was like dude it's 200 bucks a month to keep the crm so if you want to keep using it it's like i next time i pay you i just pay you 100 bucks does that sound good and he was like yeah sure or like I think he told me he brought it up I don't know and then I told him oh cool and so basically that that was last month February and now that is March I was just like dude you know what um if you want to keep going for this month it's 200 bucks and I owe you 100 from the refund so then you can just give me 100 and it makes sense and so we just did that next month I think I'll probably just keep him going at just 100 bucks a month because, like, yeah, if he wants to open up his own CRM, that would be 97 bucks a month, plus texting, plus verification of, like, phone numbers. So, in reality, and he is not going to have the automations, he's not going to have any of that. So, realistically, he's going to much, like, he's going to rather just having my CRM with all the automations, with all the everything. And it's going to be even cheaper for him, probably, as I said, if he, you know, like, if you count in like texting and verification and whatever, 
So he's probably going to keep going with me for a very long time as long as he runs his business. And same thing with the guy that I signed up for the website, by the way. I think they are, like, those are two clients that are going to be going for a long time. For, so the, lowest, the least that I could make is 200 bucks a month. That's really good, right? So that was March 25, the 25th of March. So now let's just hope that by the 25th of April, I'm making 10K a month, which should be the case, by the way. So by the 25th of April, I should have made 10K. That's the idea, at the very least. And honestly, realistically, it would be better if I do it just in the next few weeks and it doesn't take a whole month. I can't imagine fasting for a whole month. <laughs> so hopefully this kicks me, you know, makes me actually put in the work. I have the, you know, all the sales systems and all the everything. I think actually the presentation looks really good and it's definitely going to show me as the authority. I just need to train sales and do more outreach. That's it. I literally don't need anything else. And just try to sign people for 97, 997 bucks a month. And yeah, that's the idea. I think it should work. So we'll see. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> there we go. What is up, bro? How are you? I'm doing well, dude. I'm kind of out of breath because I actually just had to buy some batteries for my mouse. <laughs> oh, okay. I had to go running, you know, because <laughs> I was oh, like, like Dude, have this meeting. Down to go and get battery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I recently got a really kick-ass mouse. Sorry, I'm tying my shoes. Um, this really great mouse. What is it? Which mouse? Uh, I think it's a Logitech. Oh and yeah, it's for my laptop. It's wireless. It is, is it like absolutely a G305? incredible. Let me see if I can get it. I don't have like crazy gaming stuff. I just need you know stuff that works. <laughs> And this yeah, thing yeah, yeah. is USB C. Uh, mm. It's a Logitech, and it is a mm, MX right. Anywhere 3S. Right. This yeah, thing looks, is amazing. It works on everything. It's so quiet. It. I mean, I can use it on my pants if I'm in the shop and I got nothing else. <laughs> it has some awesome mouse, dude. That's for sure. Or oh. mouse mouses. Is it like mices? M mises. <laughs> <laughs> Here in the. In the states, growing up, whenever like cartoons mice. would say mice, um, growing up because that's the plural, right? Is is multiple? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it was always mises, and so it was <laughs> like this funny thing growing up, right? It's not an actual word, but just you know, multiple mises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man! That. All right, I'm gonna get you up on the big rig here, so I can see up here too. But I sure, think sure. that shouldn't take but a second. Do you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had an awesome weekend actually. Really nice. Good. Got Me to... too. Got a bunch of time with my kids and hung out. Got some things done. That's cool, dude. Honestly, having time with kids, I think, is super important. Like when I look back at my childhood, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like I'm thirty, right? But it's like I look back at like with my dad when I was more with my dad and everything, and we would just play and do all these super silly things, right? But it's like. Back then, right. it, it like it's like it was so awesome. I don't know. It's like it was different. <laughs> that time is so important, and yeah. so I'm very cognizant. I'm very conscious of making decisions to make sure that I'm spending enough time with my kids on a regular basis. Because hmm. I mean, those memories they they just grow up so fast too. And so right. I remember how important that time was for me when I was younger. Just really anything that I did with my dad was special and it didn't matter what it was. If it was going yeah. on like a claim with him for his job or just going to the hardware store or something, it was like, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to do something with dad. And so hmm. actually this weekend I took my son into my shop and I've got a CNC right. and, and uh, so we were working on some stuff and he'd never seen it run before. So I had him with the hmm. protective goggles on and his protective <laughs> earbuds on. And he yeah. was watching it the whole time. He's like, checking it out and tell me all this stuff. And he was so pumped. We, uh, we actually <laughs> cut um, a topographical map of Iceland. Oh, wow, that's blurry. crazy. There we go. That's really so cool. I did the, I took Iceland. I got it off of um, just public data, basically. You can pull down terrain hmm. images for anywhere in the world. And so I did the map right around Iceland because my wife and I honeymooned there uh, in 2017. Hmm. And it took 
I mean, it's it's sticking off the surface a good half an inch or so. Yeah, yeah. And I messed it up the first time that I did it. I tried it and it was too thin of a backer. And there was a knot <laughs> in the piece of the wood. And so the wood curled and it didn't come out right. And mm, it's like, it's right. like, ah, it's okay. I was really excited. It's, like, it's a good attempt. It's a good attempt. Yes. <laughs> But I just like with 3D printing, I was like, okay. And it wasn't like a loss. It was like, you know, analyze it. What did I do wrong? Figure it mm. out and all that stuff. And so by version two, I, I pretty much already nailed it. I showed this to my wife and she was like, this is so cool. I said, I know we can do this with anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's really awesome, dude. That's really cool. <laughs> and it's really so cool. Also, like, your way of analyzing it. Like, as you said, dude, it's like, and I think that's also really important even to teach your, your kids and everything is like, there's yes. no failure. It's like, right. you can just iterate. It's like the scientific method, right? It's like, you conduct an experiment, whatever, and then you iterate based off of your conclusions. It's like, it's literally just, that's the way of life. <laughs> Absolutely. There are, there's no failures unless you don't learn the lesson. If you miss the lesson, mm. then it was a loss. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I'm on the computer now. I'd love to see, and I didn't get it pulled up this last time. Um, one of the other ones, just, just for the heck of it, uh, one of the other commercials that you had put together, that first one was perfect, but there was another one you were trying to send me and I couldn't get it to open for some reason. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, perhaps I didn't share it. Let me see. That could have been the reason. Let me check it out. And I can send you the link here in the Zoom chat. Check, 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 check it out. What, 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 what's it all about? Mm, heading over there. This is the only curse of working on the computer on a Zoom call is I can work while I'm on a Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> there's like 15 tabs over here. And there's like 20 tabs over here. Oh, yeah, I, I sent the, the link right there. All right, let's see. Zoom, come on back, Zoom. Zoom does this weird thing on the PC where it'll fall into the background. Yeah. If I don't mm, get it. It's kind of annoying. There we Not go. Lie. Ah, bingo. All right. Drive. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Time to repaint your house. Hmm. Yep. Exactly. Exactly right. You got the text on the bottom. You're mentioning, mm. you know, what's going on, what we're working on. You're highlighting the text. Quick edits through the stuff. It's very short. It's sweet. 30 seconds. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's one I wanted to show you because you told me you were doing like quick edits. And this is yep. more like that, right? Like fast pace. That's perfect. Perfect. That was the stuff that we realized was getting a lot of hits was mm. these people so short on the attention span these days. So right. the I agree. Cutting um it was a cabinet refinishing video and I I wish I'd have saved it, but I just don't have it unfortunately. It was a really, really good one of me just in the shop and I was just talking about why we use the products that we do, why we have the process that we do. And the guys chopped it up and they made it I don't know how they got it down to like 45 seconds because it was like two and a half minutes of me just rambling on. Mm. And they found the best right. stuff edit it in threw it out there and they throw that like get you you know first moment on it so you hit play and it and it's me going it's going to be expensive and it's like a cut from a part that they're talking about later so it ropes people in they're like wait a second why is it going to be expensive and they want to watch right? it was really well done they did a really good job with that like a hoop, yeah that looks yeah. great that looks great yeah that's awesome do you want to like share a screen and, and show me like yours and that's what I was saying. So I didn't keep, unless we can go into Facebook, can we go into Facebook and pull them down? The ones that have already won run. I wonder if we can. Yeah. Yeah. We can for sure. Okay. Um, I can That's show awesome. you. Let's Let me see. Here. Cause it Let might be see. easier. If you want to, I can walk you through like giving uh, us access. Oh, if perfect. Yeah. Like this, go right ahead. Like you want to move forward. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. so I send you the link right there. Business.facebook.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can go there and if you want, you can share your screen so I can kind of walk you through it. Okay. So business of Facebook. Yep. I remember this. So I've got an ad page. Right. Perfect. Let's do share screen. 
So you can see all five million of my tabs. Let's see. Uh, business <laughs> setting posted. It happens to, you know, we, we kind of do, like double task. I don't know, multitask. Oh yeah. yeah, it's so bad too because realistically, multitasking has now been proven so many times over to not be yeah. effective whatsoever. Yeah. It's just you're fragmenting your attention across all kinds of different things. It should have been logic for us to know that years ago, but they're like. Multitasking, that's a real good corporate office thing that we can tell people to do. Let's see, <laughs> yeah. ad account. Uh, so you, you go to partners? Uh, oh, partners, uh, gotcha. Yeah, so you can add it all in one. Oh, and I have to send you my ID link. Okay. So let me just go. And let should I remove right Fridus? I no longer have them. And I don't know why they would need oh, to be I mean, on here, if... but... They're the ones that ran the ads before. So I don't want to like delete something that we shouldn't delete. No, no, no. You can remove them. Uh, the ads are going okay. to still be there. It's just mm -hmm. whether they have permission to change things in your ad account or not. Mm, okay. So I just want to go back to said, got it. Work on any ad accounts page. Or search, or uh, try to move data you shared with them is subject to their terms and privacy. Any assets assigned or shared with them remain linked to meta views. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's not going to impact anything. I just no, want yeah, to make sure, oh, impact. we're about to watch this video. And then I deleted the thing where we're able to watch. <laughs> I mean, if you want, don't remove it. But it's like, I I, I know that it's not going to change anything. Okay. Okay. I'll just go ahead and take them off. I'll trust you on that. And then right. I need to plug in your, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where does the chat go? Oh, so oh, yeah. If you want, you can perhaps stop sharing so you can see the chat again. If you can. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, chat. Oh, nope. There it is. Got it. Uh, oh, awesome. and it's this big one right here copy and then i want to add this into add yeah so you need to uh, click at the x like that's not the one oh uh, sorry it's the one in the left that says share mm -hmm. assets yeah okay that one awesome now you put our id awesome bingo, bingo. cool now you gotta uh, just select the page okay cool yeah and then just scroll down and give us everything Everything. So we can actually, yeah. And then to the okay. ad account. Mm -hmm. Save changes on that or leave that for right now. Uh, don't save yet. You can go to the okay. ad account. So we do it all at once. And then okay. you click the ad account and give us access to manage the ad account. Manage ad account. Okay. And then save changes. Yep. That's it. All right. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So now I should be able to go in there and we can kind of look at it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Awesome. Guys in scaling. Have right. home services. Here I have it. Awesome. So how do I, I need to give myself access first. Cause like you give access to our business page and then I need to give mm -hmm. access to specifically, like specifically myself. You okay. Know? So I'm just giving access. Okay. Mm -mm. And what what did you do over the week? Did you take out over your the weekend kids somewhere? Uh, yeah. they had a they had a birthday party that they went to on Saturday. Mm. Um, but the rest of the time I got right. Gosh, I got some shop stuff done. We did a whole bunch together here as a family at the house. We did some cooking. We cleaned up the house quite a bit. We went out back and jumped on the trampoline. I had a ton of time <laughs> with the kids. It was, um, it was a really, really good weekend. Actually. They, uh, hmm. my wife took one of my boys to church on Sunday. And then I took the oldest with me, took him to the shop. We spent like four hours together. He was so hmm. sweet on the way home. It was like not even one forty-five, and he's just at the age where he's about to stop taking naps on the weekend, but he's still kind of taking them. <laughs> So he's pretty yeah. wiped out. We leave the shop and he goes, wow, what a great day. And it's like 1.45 in the afternoon. He said, I had such a great day. <laughs> I just started laughing. I was like, I'm glad, Evan. He goes, it's so much fun to come with you to the shop, Daddy. I'm like, yeah, that's right. It's fun. <laughs> that's what you love to hear as a dad. <laughs> Absolutely. Bet. Yeah. Absolutely. You can, you can stop sharing now, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. yeah. share how do i stop that there it is stop share okay cool 
So I can share this with you. You're going to be slightly disappointed, I think, um, if they share screen, because my computer always lags. Okay, it's not sharing. <laughs> Man, my computer keeps doing that. I don't know why, because like before I was, I used to be able to, to do it flawlessly, but now, um, but what I was going to show you is like, there's none of the ads that they ran. Mm -hmm. um, and this is not because you deleted it. It has nothing to do. Um, okay. I, I can tell you I've done like stuff in the ad accounts is that mm -hmm. a lot of times what happens and I'm guessing now, yeah, I'm like, I'm guessing you had to pay 7,500 up front because you mm -hmm. also had to pay them for the ad spend. That's correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because of that, they actually run the ads from their own ad account instead mm -hmm. of doing it from yours. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Like, yeah, they, you didn't pay directly to Facebook. You paid them. So what they did is right. they just ran it from their own ad account and they use your page. So I, I saw it there. You they only you only gave them access to the page because they mm -hmm. ran it from their own account, right? That makes and sense. So, so they retained all the videos and such. Yeah. Now what we can do if you want is like I could just search up Tridas. I could mm -hmm. go through their funnels and case studies. And I'm sure I'm gonna find a company that they're currently running ads with that I can mm -hmm. go and check out the ads they are running. Oh yeah. And it's it's really more work than it's necessary for you to go down that road. They they did a yeah. really great job, but honestly, what you guys are doing is very much comparable. It's not really different at all. Hmm. So that's right. totally fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, then um, I can set you up. Okay, so yeah, we have the ad account. I'm guessing you have your your card here because you you run two ads. It's like for, have you ever boosted Instagram posts? By any I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Oh, okay. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, this is a long time ago. So definitely these are those posts. November 3rd, 2021 is one of them. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a screen share from you. Yeah, I'm trying Something to share, but it, it keeps lagging. So uh, it might be because I'm like, I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> let me pull let me pull but, myself out of the business page and see if it's because I'm in there. I don't know if that would make a difference, but I went ahead and closed it on my end so I can see if it might work better sure. on your side. Sure, we can try, we can try. So worst case, I can always hop on my phone and just turn on my camera and just show you. <laughs> right? No, but yeah, uh, I let's see, let's see if this time loads. I think it, it should. Yeah. Okay. Can you see it? It's kind of laggy, yes. but it's there. Yes, yes, it's coming through. Let me get that yeah, to yeah, open yeah. on the big one. There we go. Yep, it's coming through. Awesome. Finally, finally. <laughs> uh, now, as you can see here, you have these two ads, and that's like mm -hmm. all you have. Um, mm -hmm. And this one says end November 3rd, 2021. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's definitely been a long time ago. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. <laughs> two years and like three four months or something so yeah even half a year like three years and a half um but even though like those ads um are not honestly the the most like the best performing ads because when you mm -hmm. boost posts it's like if you do it you know if you do it from the ads manager itself it's more complicated because you can adjust more variables that you know right. if you kind of understand about marketing then you can like tweak it and optimize it even more now, exactly. what Facebook wants to do is, hey, I want everybody like to make it yep. as simple as possible for people to use money on my platform so they spend as yep. much money as possible. And so, then it just spreads it everywhere and it doesn't put it in any targeted components. Exactly. Yeah, so then I guess all we, we need to do right now, I, I'll start like sending you perhaps the script so you can record a video uh, okay. just like those and then we can edit them. And Excellent. I can just send you those scripts. I also send you. We can even do this right now if you want. I can send you an onboarding form. Okay. Uh, for you to fill That'd it be out. Great. Because then we can have like all the information to set up the account. Perfect. So let me see if I can get the link. Awesome. So let me share it on the chat here. Let me know if that one works. 
I think it should. We go. <laughs> Google Forms. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, there's a few questions, um, but it's like you just you just gotta like complete it once and then it's done, right? So. Request access. All right. There you go. Oh, you need to request access from me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably because I'm not signing. Uh, no, I swapped. I moved it over to Havilland Home Services. No, then I need to just um make it like okay. It's good. Oh, shareable or whatever. Yeah, yeah, shareable. So it looks like for whatever reason I make it I made it private in the past. <laughs> so yeah, I can make it shareable, and then we can kind of just fill that out. And with that, I can set up like your your sub account and like the system and everything. Uh huh. So yeah, that way. Um, we can just get you like this. I, I need to like submit some information to actually ver verify the phone number. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know if you know, but it's like a year ago on May, there's, or like on June, I think, I don't, I don't know exactly which month, but it was like this thing changed where now you go to verify and actually submit your information before yes. you, yeah, like the AIN or, you know, A2P, all of that stuff. So, yes, absolutely. So yeah, we just gotta get some information for that. So yeah, but I guess now you're multitasking, so I'm not even gonna get you conversation. Oh, you are totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking to make sure what my what time my next appointment is. I've got a, a call with my bookkeeper because we're wrapping up for my taxes. Right. And I thought that was at three thirty, and it's not showing up on my calendar. So I was freaking out, going, "Hang on a second, what did I reschedule that to?" She is mm. on mm -mm 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 -mm. perfect. Yep, I'm all set. Awesome. I send you the link now to okay. the chat. I deleted the old one so you didn't get confused. So let's see. To the oh, over to um you sent it to Gmail? No, to just the Zoom chat. Oh, and the Zoom chat, gotcha. Yeah, I but keep telling my parents on a regular same. basis. I'm like, my gosh, you guys got out of doing you know being in the working field at just the right time they're like what do you mean i'm like mom you would not be able to follow however many threads i've got to keep up with and however many <laughs> posting boards and i'm like all these different things i said it's it was just so much easier with pen and paper and telephone yeah. and answering machine i'm like my gosh this is so much these days okay let's yeah. see it's not showing me the other zoom page there it is good grief always gonna click on it Okay. You sent it again at 221. Got it. There it goes. Onboarding form. Now we're looking good. Awesome. Fine. We got it. We got it. We did we it. We are good to go. We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, you, do you do that to your, to your kids? <laughs> I do, actually. They watch, um, I don't know if you know, uh, this anime show called Bluey. It's out yeah, of Australia. Yeah, I know it. I have a oh six-year-old sister. Mm, so okay. I always watch some of that stuff with her. <laughs> that show is incredible. It's so well written. The animation's good. It's it's actually really really good animation. But the mm. the stories that they write and how they make it accessible for the kids to understand what the lesson is that they're trying to teach, and then they put in like a yeah. couple of really sweet moments for the parents that are inevitably watching too. Mm. It's just yeah. it's so it's so good. And I, uh, what the heck? How did I get on the Bluey? You were just talking about something that made me think about animated shows. No, yeah, I was oh. telling you if, if you ever said to them, like, we did it, you know, like, let's go. Oh, that's right. In the show, they they go, hooray. The, the girls always right. say, hooray, yeah. when they get excited True. about something. So my wife does that with the boys. Hmm. Anytime they do something, they're like, oh, oh, no, I dropped this. Or, oh, no, I fell. And then they get up. She's like, you did it. Hooray. So she gets all worked up. <laughs> It's so important, right? Because those little yeah. wins, those little victories, you got to build that up within them. Yeah, it's it's actually really, really, I would say like, it's, it's like something you don't notice. Even when I was watching Bluey, um, like, sorry, when I was watching like animations, when I was like a child, I didn't mm -hmm. realize that there were like subliminal messages to some extent right. like, that were there on the, like, you don't even realize you're just a child, you're just enjoying the show. And then nowadays I look at them and it's like, oh, they are teaching this value, like this right. lesson. It's like, it's that's such really a trip. Good, you know? 
I went back and I watched the TV show Seinfeld all over again because it was on it was on the air when I was in my early teens and up until just about when I turned 20 or so. And then it mm-hmm. went off the air. They had like nine yeah. or 10 seasons. It was in- insane. And I, I watched some of it when I was that age, but I didn't really enjoy it as much. And then I watched it again with my wife after she and I moved in together. And we were both like, it's a totally different show. There's so much more to enjoy because now that mm. we're an adult, we get all the stuff that they're going through and we've traveled totally. to Manhattan. So we know those scenes that they're in. And just, <laughs> it was, uh, it's so funny how the, you know, you grow up and you gain so much more experience and you have such a different perspective on that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, dude. Honestly, that really messes me up. It's like, how much information do I not know now? There's like, right. I'm going to look back in 10 years and be like, geez, dude, if I just knew Absolutely. this Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Oh, I always hate those articles that say, if you could go back in time, five years in time, you know, <laughs> blog post or something and tell yourself one thing, what would it be? And then it helps to walk you through, like, what would you tell yourself? now Hmm. to make the future better right yeah it's kind of it's a good thing to think about from time to time because we get stuck on the hamster wheel and we're doing the same thing over and over and we got to stop and go wait what am i working towards what is my main goal what is the thing that i I want to achieve here it's a really good reflection Hmm. point totally yeah services um did you want me to crank through this now because i'm going through some of the questions already um or do you just want me to fill it out once we're done yeah, if you want, you can fill it out now. Honestly, okay. uh, the only thing like left now is just fill out that form. Then okay. uh, you will get the 200 bucks for the payment. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then I'll just send you later today or tomorrow the scripts. Uh, probably later okay. today, just the scripts. So you can kind of get those videos recorded. And okay. yeah, we can launch the ads and everything. That sounds great. Oh, pardon me. I've got these peanut butter pretzel things that are ridiculously good. Um, <laughs> yeah, perfect. No I am getting this filled out right now. Shouldn't take me more than just a couple minutes uh, to go through. And yeah, it should be like less than up. 10 minutes. Okay. Usually. That sounds excellent. Five to 10, something. I'll get this thing all cranked out, send over to you right now. I don't have my next call until an hour from now with my bookkeepers. So I can easily okay, finish sure. this right now. I've got uh, some music going in the background, get this sent over. And then, sure. uh, yeah, as soon as you get the script over, I've got tomorrow's schedule isn't super crazy. And hmm. in fact, I've got some cool locations I'm going to be at. I'll be on a rooftop in downtown that's Fort Worth. Awesome. There's this uh, classic car that's they craned. They lifted it up onto the top of this building and they've got this huge rooftop cinema. So they have a, a big theater. That's crazy. That they show movies up there. And this thing is just, somebody sprayed it with like, latex paint it's not running anymore the hmm. engine's got it and everything it's mostly right. for show but it's it's really cool looking and it was flaking hmm. and falling apart and so i looked at it and i my friend called me and she said what can we do with this you know besides like taking it off the roof and putting a different car up here i said we can knock this out we could easily you know this 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 here's all the stuff we got to do and here's the product we got to use and we can make it look really really nice again and take us three days to do it so we've hmm. got everything done. Now we have to do is spray the top coat. So we'll be there tomorrow and the guys are right. going to be on site spraying that. But the background and everything is like classic Fort Worth. It's this really cool hmm. angle. So I could shoot some stuff up there. With, it's supposed to be gorgeous tomorrow, like 75 degrees and sunny. That yeah. would be fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's really going to be really good. And then we can just edit that. I actually got a, an editor not so long ago. So I actually edit that and everything. And mm-hmm. it, he's really good at what he does. He also has like super fast turnaround. So nice. we should be able to set up the ads like within this week, uh, like within That's like honestly, the next three days without any problem, dude. That's fantastic. And then of yeah, course, dude. obviously we'll have to need to set a, an ad spend, which when we get rolling, uh, would you say like 50, 50, 55, right around there is a good starting point as far as the daily ad spend? Yeah. I think definitely the idea is to do like 50 uh, a day. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, And so like we can do 50 a day and it's like because we track the ads and this little thing, we can see, okay, from this ad, like we are getting this much cost per acquisition and it's like, okay, you know, okay, if you spend this money on ads like this, then you can get, you know, it's 1K to acquire a customer that is 10K. I don't know. Yeah, like that. absolutely. And then you're like, okay, then if you want, of course, we can crank up the ad spend. 
and we can see how we go from there. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, being able to to A, B, right? This one's doing better yeah. than this one. Let's put more of our eggs into that basket. Let's run the totally. There's actually this book called Scientific Advertising. Uh -huh. And it's one of like, honestly, that book changed my whole perspective on advertising. Scientific advertising. Yeah, I it's like that before. Claude C. Hopkins, perhaps. I don't know. It's really known. Uh, it's like it is fun. nice. Good memory. Yeah. Claude C. Hopkins. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add this to my uh -huh. reading list. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love it, dude. It's really so good. Cause I used to think advertising or like marketing in general, it was like this super hard thing that I didn't like fully understand how it worked. And it's like, it, it is like you, uh, like what I realized at least with scientific advertising is like, there's not like nobody knows what they are doing, but they just right. try different stuff and then just follow what numbers tell, tell them. So right. it's like, you can know certain techniques and certain stuff, but it's like, if the numbers say this one is performing better, we go with this one. Like, that's it. And it's like, it really changed my perspective in, in the sense like, okay, then you just got to have money to test. And then right. you're going to become like, you know, of course, there's a lot more stuff and perhaps I'm just oversimplifying it. I, I was talking to a friend the other day and it's like, I was telling him all this stuff and he was like, yeah, man, but I mean, you've been doing this for like <laughs> two years already. It's like, hey, if I were to start right now, it would be, it would take me a long time. It's like, yeah, that's, that's true. Could be true. I'm just oversimplifying it because I'm enthusiastic about it. But <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I do the same thing too when I get excited about it. I, uh, <laughs> I could see that though. And I love picking more into the ways that we perceive um, hmm. marketing and advertising and how, how our brain breaks that down and what tells us, you know, which direction we want to go down. I love picking stuff like that apart. So that fits perfectly into my reading list. Right. Do you do you read very often? Like, do you read often? I, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> I, so I typically have like a lot of really good books around at any given point in time. These are the Jeez. ones I'm I just picked up, which are Painting Millions, the Brandon Pure hmm. Point book that came out not too long ago, The Creative Way, Rick Rubin, uh, his new book, right. which I'm That's really really one. excited about. This one. Yeah, I've, I've heard of um, it. Contractor Grow Secrets from Lee Haight. Hmm. It uh, that was like ten bucks with his thing. Endless referrals. Oh, the cameras hmm. are coming in. And then That's a good one. John Cena, the wrestler, made a book called yeah. "Be a Work in Progress," and all it is is just quotes of, or not quotes, but just various different simple thoughts. And it's hmm. it's really wonderful. He's he's a really fascinating individual. I've watched him now on a handful of talk shows. And hmm. people know who he is because of movies and wrestling and such, but I didn't know right. much about him. And he was Me on uh, right now. late show with Stephen Colbert. I love Colbert. And they were talking hmm. and he brought up this book. And I was looking into it and I'm like, this is just fantastic. I'll give you a great example. Each one is just like real simple. It's just like a page or two with a little graphic of some kind. And this hmm. one says, we all have our own set of life's rules constantly revisit yours and know if it's okay if they change as we change so should our values just don't let a new you get stuck following old rules simple right effective really good stuff just good things to you know if i'm sitting there and i'm in the middle of something and i'm kind of stuck in my own head just popping that open for a second reading a few of those and going i got a better idea and going back to it yeah. that's that's really good dude to have those things for inspiration, you know, when you need Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then I've got, I, I actually have quite a few books. Funny enough, I just can't get myself to sit still long enough to read unless <laughs> it is something that really interests me. So for everything else, I do Audible and I'll let it play while I'm working in the shop and I'll absorb a mm. lot of it. I'll pay attention to a lot of it. But I'll play right. it like two or three times and I'll catch more things the second and third time. But for stuff that's really important to me, like painting and business and being a better me, I'll sit there and I'll mm. force myself to read it. And as soon as I kind of have that first aha moment or sort of a revelation or I feel enlightened in some capacity, that gives me the motivation to make it all the rest of the way through the book. 
Hmm. So what was was one of those books that like you read everything in just one sitting? Uh, ooh, that's a great question. There's only been a handful of those in my life. Uh, the first book I ever read cover to cover was Michael Crichton, the guy that uh, wrote all the Jurassic Park and whatnot. And it was a book hmm. called Sphere. They made a movie out of it and it was pretty good, but the book was really good. And it was the right. first time I ever got myself to go cover to cover. And I think I was 12, 13, maybe at the time. Jeez, that's and really then young. I was just super fascinated by Michael Crichton. And then I just went through like the rest of his, his library at that point. He still had a handful of books that he was going to put out. Um, he, he died some years back, but hmm. he was fascinating in the way that he wrote. And then I just won't read another book again for a long time. And then I'll just pick one up randomly. It's crazy. Hmm. It's gotta be the ADHD. I can't figure out what else would be doing that <laughs> company Facebook page on the, uh, the Facebook page, just putting the business name itself, right. Is, is plenty. You guys are already linked up at this point. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Okay. Excellent. Find your logo. That sounds good. We um, have your logo as well, so you don't have to link it. I find the oh yeah, exactly. Uh, definition of success. Okay, perfect. Um, for me to make it through the rest of this and then pull what I need to down for my bookkeeping appointment, I've got to. I got to let you go. Is there anything sure. else that we need to cover? Yeah, I can send you the link for the two hundred bucks. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we can get that. Yeah, paid. if you want to do that now, in fact, we sure, can just yeah. get that knocked out. Sure, I just sent it over. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want me to send it like through Zoom or through SMS? Oh, uh, either way is fine. I think it popped up on the chat. Yeah, I sent Stripe. it through Zoom, but perhaps you wanted to do it like on. on this. Do you oh, use no, Stripe? Perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. or... I do. Oh, that's so. Awesome. I do actually. I just signed up with them not even a month ago hmm. because I was getting tired of doing through chase business like having right. to run their card and everything i'm like nah, i just need it to go through the invoice and so i got it set up with them because they link mm. up to pay scout and uh yeah. the the first one kind of worried me because i didn't read through the information i got it all set up sold the project and everything and customer put down the deposit and it was a pretty it was like 5500 or something and uh <laughs> i didn't think anything about it and then i didn't see it show up after two or three business days so then I went and I looked on the website and it was like, for your first send, it takes seven business days. Yeah, to pay out. And so I was sweating it because we had to start. I was I was just dipping down to the bottom of my operating expenses um, because mm -hmm. I was in between collecting like three or four different checks on a large project and right. uh, just barely made it in the nick of time. It processed <laughs> and went through on that Monday that we started. I was like, Ooh, I'm going to read the fine print the next time. My goodness. <laughs> yeah right. that happens that happened to me as well dude. i was like dude why is it taking so long and even worse right. i think I, I had like manual payout set up so i needed to yes. like, go check it and it was just it waiting for it automatic <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was just waiting for it and then it's like this is not coming dude <laughs> where is it oh, yeah okay that should be good to go bingo bingo Excellent. And then I'll get a question from my bookkeepers in about 40 minutes going, hey, what's this $200 for? <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> Let's see. Phone. I got to verify. Link. Verify phone number. One step closer, more secure. Oh, I see. I don't have to do that. Gotcha. It's got this thing. It says, verify your phone number. And I was like, oh, what did I do? And then it says, oh, for faster, more secure payments to Kaizen Scaling. Oh, I see. Right. They yeah. just want me to Not link needed. up directly. Yeah, they Perfect. just want to have your info, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh, well, that's it then. Uh, I can, you know, you can go with your bookkeepers and everything and kind of do your own Fantastic. thing. Fantastic. Beth, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what we get going together. I'm really pumped to have you along for the ride so that you can help me um fix the one thing that I wasn't on top of last time, which was tracking and making sure that I'm I'm following the sources of these leads appropriately. Hmm, right. And then uh, I'm excited. I'm really pumped. Let's get this. It is, gonna, 
it's gonna be great. I mean, I just gonna send you the script. Um, you can kind of get those videos recorded. We edit that, just upload it to to the Facebook ads, and yeah, we're also gonna be setting up your account. I mean, I can give you access to that if you want, but you don't even have to. Um, okay. Because like we're we're going to follow up with the lease ourselves. So I'll yeah if if you need to have if you want to have access, we can of course do that. But I think it won't even be necessary. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it'll be just fine. Um, right, I yeah. get the I get the impression you guys are going to be on top of this, and it's one yeah. less thing that I have to handle. Right. And by the way, uh, Jeff, sorry if I take up like more time. No, you're um, fine. Do you have? Because like you, you told me you had like a flow chart to follow up with the leads. Yes. And so perhaps if you want us to like follow up in a certain manner. Mm -hmm. um, like if you want to share that with me and it's like you can tell us okay ask this question for sure mm -hmm. um or something like that oh i appreciate that the good news is with that it's primarily so if i'm getting like a referral lead hmm. from somebody else and i want to go through the flow on a new lead i, I want to let you guys do what you do and see right. how that system's running before right. i throw anything in to kind of tweak it and right. so Cool, cool. I've got a pretty solid suspicion that you're going to have a really good process, but if <laughs> right. we needed to add something to that, I'm more than happy to send that over. I really honestly don't have to use that as much anymore because a lot okay. of our customers that are coming in are referrals. And so it's usually only when I've got like a new potential uh, client yeah. coming into the network that I go through that. But yeah, like I mentioned, I'd love to see how you guys go through the process first and maybe mm. I'll adopt something from the way that you guys do it. So yeah, let's, yeah, let's cool. let that run first. Cool. Cause yeah, I mean, I, I got some of the questions you told me, um, mm -hmm. like how soon you want to get it done or like if it's an owner or right. like a rental and there's like all those questions is like kind of the stuff that you ask either way. Cause like you, you yeah. need to get that information. Um, Absolutely. if you had like, if you had extra questions that you wanted us to ask, uh, we could add that in, but it's like, um, I guess all of like the ones that you did tell me like the source service area, those kinds of things are already covered. So yeah, right. shouldn't be a Excellent. I love it. I'm excited. Awesome, dude. And okay. And yeah, just have a good time. Have a great day and a great week. Thanks, you too. Talk to you soon. Awesome. Talk to you soon. Yep. So just finished up the call with uh, Jeff. Pretty good call. I got the payment. I got the 200 bucks. So in three days, I should be able to pay that out. Um, now, currently, if I go to balances, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to pause. So if I go into balances right here, you're going to see I have 289 that are available to pay out soon. So that's just awesome, dude. I got another 200 bucks. I should have probably signed him up for 200 bucks a month, not just 200 set up. But it's not going to be like as long as we're closing clients. You know, we're doing 5%. I didn't do a contract. Jeez, I didn't, I didn't send him the contract. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even ask for it, dude. That's the craziest thing. But yeah, I have 400 bucks now. And that's really good, dude. That's really good that I got 400 bucks. Like, that's, I, I don't know. That feels awesome, dude. I haven't closed this many clients in a while. Like, in the last two weeks, I closed two clients, dude. I've never done that ever. So... That's really good. And yeah, we can keep going. Tomorrow I'm gonna to start the fast until I hit 10K a month, which is going to be interesting. But now I have these 400 bucks, so what can I do with those 400 bucks? That's the question, right? So first thing I wanna do is to um, probably send a lot of that money to Binance so I can pay the appointment setters uh, in case they start booking meetings. So I have appointment setters. I don't know how well that's gonna work out because realistically, I probably need to train them more. I think it's also gonna be cool if it's like an, the underdog story, like I'm just trying to do it myself, getting to 10K a month, fasting, like I think it's the ultimate underdog story. So it's like, I don't wanna put so much emphasis on the cold colors, honestly, just cause I like how this story would, would sound. And cause I think it's gonna be more so a challenge, dude. Like I think I actually wanna challenge myself to do something that is really hard, but it's like, I'm gonna come out of it just a different person right because i'm doing these hard things so yeah dude i'm just gonna message seth uh sorry jeff right now and see whether he has a whatsapp because i didn't even check awesome so yeah i mean i just got the payment actually let me 
So yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys what I sent him. So I was just like, hey Jeff, just to keep organized with both our distracted brains, I thought we might be better off making a small little list. I put, number one, pay your taxes, very important. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm just messing with you. And then I just sent him like, so here are some of the next steps, submit the form, download WhatsApp, record the videos once I send the scripts, whatever. And yeah, I was like, and in the meanwhile, we'll be setting up your account and also sending over the scripts. Awesome. So now I'm going to open a meeting uh, with a setter. Uh, we're going to be doing some cold calls. So it's going to be awesome. Let's just do that. So everybody, I gotta go to my mom's right freaking now, but a uh, brief overview of the day, it was really good. Um, I had a call with both, um, with two of the setters, and it was pretty good. Probably tomorrow we're gonna start calling with those two, uh, just at the same time every single day, since they were able to like set up their schedule, and we just had some really good calls, kind of going over the new script and everything. And yeah, it's going to be great, dude. It's just going to be absolutely great. And from tomorrow on, I'm going to be fasting until I hit 10k a month. So it's going to be crazy. And so, yeah, I mean, uh, I also got the 200 bucks payment from Jeff, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I really love the cold call script that we have. I personally really like it. I think it's going to like we can scale to the moon with this script. It's feeling like going to be great. So, yeah, I just need to send Jeff. Uh, he also like Jeff downloaded WhatsApp. So I'm texting him on WhatsApp as well as he submitted the onboarding form. So I kind of just need to send him right now um, what the, oh, what happened? Oh, nothing. Um, I just need to send him the, the script for the videos. He's going to record them tomorrow. So I'm probably going to send them just tomorrow, first hour in the morning, probably. Cool. So other than that, um, yeah, I think it's awesome. I don't know what else to recap. Didn't do cold calls, didn't do SMS of in any way, but it's cool because I built the script and I had the calls with the callers. Uh, so tomorrow we're actually gonna have it. And I think it's cool that I'm gonna be with these two callers. And it's like, we're just gonna be two at once. We're not gonna be like a, a multitude of people. We're actually just going to be like three people at once calling. And I think that's like the sweet spot, like two to three people, not, not more than that. And yeah, I think, I think it's honestly going to be like awesome, dude, honestly. like. Yeah, like just calling together and motivating each other. We might actually use a soundboard to do the call calls because soundboards are great. Like they, they really, really work um, to like kind of automate most of this stuff. So we're going to do loads of call calls. Also loads of SMS tomorrow as well. I have the the pitch, like the, the pitch deck. I also wrote the My Story email, which was pretty much written. I just changed a few details and added it to the sequence. And uh, yeah. I mean, the remodeling template is done. Oh, I need to end up, like, finish the onboarding. I'm actually going to write this down. Um, finish onboarding for Jeff. Then what else? What else? What else? So what does that mean? Um, I'm going to have to, like, send scripts to Jeff. Then set up um, toll-free... Okay, set up DHL for Jeff, set up toll free and A2P for Jeff. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise for my business, I think there's nothing that needs to be done. It's just like tomorrow I need to actually start doing the outreach and that should be great, honestly. Um, send scripts, set up DHL, set up toll free number, yeah, trying to think, but I think there's nothing else that I need to do. Is just setting up his go level. And then as he sends me the videos tomorrow, I can just run those. So send image ads, uh, upload image ads. So I'm going to upload some image ads for him as well to kind of split test between the videos and images. And yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take it from there. We'll see what we do, dude. We'll see. He's 50 bucks a day. So that's awesome, by the way. That's really good. And that's just to get some ads approved. So we, we're going to start getting some ads approved since he hasn't run ads in a long time. And yeah, trying to think of something else, but I think I think it looks great. I think it was, a, it was an amazing day. I got 200 bucks, which I'm super happy about. I actually bought like a protein bar to celebrate since it's also like my last day before starting the fast. 
So I'm gonna try and eat a lot of eggs, a lot of protein. I know this is not super healthy, but it's protein. Um, and yeah, from tomorrow on, dude, that's it. Fasting until I hit 10K a month. So it's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be like probably all in all the time. That's cool, because now I don't need to watch any YouTube videos. I don't need to improve anything. I mean, of course, I'm gonna have to like iterate things and I'm gonna see along the way by like just through experimenting. But it's like, I really like the cold calling script that I have right now. I really like the SMS script that I have and the I already know the numbers that it's gonna get me. I really like my pitch deck, really like my show up systems, my no show automations, my like all the automations that I have, I really like how they are set up and I've seen them work. Like with Jeff himself, I've seen it work. And honestly, signing Jeff is like a big, big like belief shift for me. It's like I close the client without showing almost any proof for 200 bucks up front. And it's like, it's a really big client, right? It's not like a small little client that's like, okay, he didn't care because he has a small business. Like, no, he's doing like 1 million a year. But I guess he could just tell by listening to me like that I have expertise and that's awesome. And he also didn't even ask for my age ever, as far as I know. Uh, like, I at least don't remember. He asked me that I am from Argentina, which I said and he didn't mind. And he didn't ask for my age. So that means he probably knows like, okay, this guy's fairly old. So it's like, I've overcome all the problems that I had right when starting, I would say. I also have 400 bucks. So that's really good too, like 400 bucks. Like, jeez, bro, jeez, you know? That's really good. Um, and that's gonna pay for Goha level this month and a lot of things, but you honestly, I'm not even considering it for Goha level. I'm considering it like for myself like dude um I'm, I'm, by the time the the month ends like one month passes i'm gonna have i'm gonna be making 10k a month at least so i'm not even considering for go level i have the potassium the magnesium i think everything is set up to start this challenge tomorrow so really like this day we'll see what happens goodbye last thing i don't know if i'll actually start the fast tomorrow i'll probably start it within this week for sure i probably think the next day like the, the day after tomorrow so on wednesday but the thing is right now i need to onboard this big client like one million dollar a year client dude, big big client and i need to like actually set up the ads send him the scripts for the videos and all of that good stuff uh set up the calendar the funnels the pixels so i need to do all of that preliminary stuff and i think i'd rather you know when i actually start the challenge like for it to be as effortless as possible so yeah i personally think i'd much rather just having the call um sorry like setting up all of this stuff and then starting the challenge also i want to see a little bit of my stats when cold calling like set up some of the uh, well i have the script now but it's just like see a bit of what these stats look like so that i can know okay this many calls one person interested then uh like well of course i'm not gonna know i'm not gonna know from how many sales calls i can close one person but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting bro how this works i'm kind of a little bit scared but it's just like i guess it makes sense because it's such a big challenge now i do think it's gonna give me a lot of confidence doing it because like dude i barely knew my stats i barely knew what i was getting into and i go to 10k a month in 30 days right or however long it's gonna take me i mean i think i could do it really fast if i actually start I'm not gonna do ads, I'm just gonna do cold calls and SMS, but if I actually start doing like 500 cold calls a day, like, dude, it should get done fairly quick, I think. I don't know, I've never done 500 cold calls a day, I've only done like 200, but yeah, I think this, this could be a good idea. <laughs> I like to think so. So I'm recording this the next day, actually, it's 2 p.m. Actually, I'm fasting, like I haven't eaten anything yet, but I do think I'm gonna eat some stuff and then actually start the fast from Wednesday on, probably. Or I don't know, somewhere in this week for sure. Um, but it's like, who's gonna care a year from now? Cause definitely not me, right? But who's gonna care a year from now if it took me one week or one year? Or like, sorry, one day or one week to think about it. Like, who's gonna care if it took me like one day of like pondering the idea or one week of pondering it before? Like, of course, you're gonna need some preparation to actually start it up. So, I think I'll actually do it on Wednesday. 
not too sure, but definitely, I think I think on Wednesday makes sense. So I'll start it on Wednesday. Uh, I actually will hope a call. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll actually start on Wednesday. I think it makes a lot of sense because I I have a friend who's good at sales and I could hop on a call with him and ask him about my pitch deck and he like we can role play the sales call and everything. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that first. Yeah. So yeah, just letting you know. <laughs>